Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is a new release from The Warning. It's a song called More. If you guys watch my podcast, uh, I didn't really love this track. It just didn't really hit me. Uh, But nonetheless, sometimes when you listen to a track more, (laughs) more often, I didn't realize that was a song title. When you listen to a track more regularly, (laughs) you, uh, you sometimes change your opinion on it. Remember, I love Tracy Chapman, and there was a Tracy Chapman. It's a double album. I can't think of it. I was so excited when it came out. I listened to it, and I was like, ooh. But I kept listening until I liked it more because I like her so much. So anyway, we're going to give this track a go together. This was sent to me by a Patreon member, Matt. Thank you, Matt, for, for thinking of me to give this one a go. And, uh, and we'll see. Hopefully live. Hopefully live. It's cooler as well. So let's check it out. Let's do this. This is the VMAs. thing at the end there you subscribe to mtv people 
I still just don't love the song. I, you know, certain tracks just don't resonate with certain people, and I just, just not my thing. I, I didn't like the rep- the repetition. Um, I just couldn't connect with the girls on this one. They were playing great. They are great, but I just want more of a rock sound, and this is more of a, a radio friendly attempt, and I, I just. I don't think it's them, if that makes sense. I think what they do better at is straightforward rock and roll coming from the heart, uh, lyrically. And, well, I guess it could also be instrumentally, right? But it's all just coming from the heart. This track, to me, I mean, I I can hear the influences from other writers, and I I just can't get this out of my head that it's just an attempt at a mainstream hit. And I... I just don't like the songs, so uh, I, I did read comments from when I posted it, and some of you guys agreed with me, and some of you didn't, and that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We can all still be warning fans. We don't have to like every single track together. It does make me think, though. I wonder what they're going to be releasing here. Are, are they going to continue to try and stray away from just straightforward rock and do some more pop element type stuff? Are they gonna do that rap one? Which I didn't like that one at all. I don't remember the dude's name, but I did not like that. Are they gonna try just trying different things? Uh, what's the plan? And they're young enough to where they should be trying different things. So why, why, why stick yourself in just one zone? And uh, I'll see what you got. Maybe they should be writing with writers. Uh, can never hurt. You know, so anyhow, that's my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think. Did you think that this live version brought other elements out of the track that you didn't feel that you got when you when you watched the music video? What'd you think? Let me know, guys. I do look forward to to doing the next reaction to the next warning video, and I'll see you on that one. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.